All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel, and we are back with the first game review of the 2022-23 season. Uh, for the regular season, we did all six preseason games, but this one counts, and the Flyers win in the first game of the year, 5-2 to two over the New Jersey Devils in a really good game. Um, I thought there were some good things from the Flyers tonight. I thought there were some not-so-good things. Um, there was an injury, unfortunately, uh, Owen Tippett. Did get hurt later in this game. Travis Konechny gets two goals. He was the first star tonight. Uh, Morgan Frost gets two goals of his own, one being an empty netter. But I thought outside of, um, you know, that, you know, kind of before the goal, I didn't think Frost was great. But then he really, I thought, played better after that. Um, again, a lot of good things. And I'll talk about them. So as for the lines for this one. Uh, Lawton with Hayes and Konechny, uh, Faraby with Cates and Tippett, Van Riemsdyk with Frost and Allison, Delorier with Legzinski and Hawks, and so pretty much what they've been rolling in practice for the last handful of days here. Um, nothing t too different than what really we've been seeing. Uh, defense uh, was pro Rob D'Angelo, Sanheim, and uh, Braun because no risk to line in his day to day, um, and Sealer and Zamola. So we had no Risto, no Atkinson, Flyers lose Tippett, so already. And Couturier. <laughs> so we get good news with Farabee a couple weeks ago, and now we have to get Tippett, we get Risto, we get Atkinson. So this whole thing of the injuries has really been hurting the Flyers recently. Um, but again, I thought tonight's game was good. There was a lot, a lot of uh, energy, good attendance, really good crowd tonight. I was there. Uh, I was not working this game in the press box. I was uh, in the stands. I ended up buying tickets, and I, I wanted to go because it's usually a tradition of mine to go to the home opener or the first home game of the year. Um, but again, good crowd, good energy. The Flyers kind of fed off that. Um, you know, early in the first period, Braun hit a, hit the post for the Flyers. Really, the, the best chance of the game, um, just in general. And uh, the Flyers had a good amount of zone time before this, uh, and, and and it was a good shift. And they ended up getting it back to the point. And it was just again hard shot by Braun ends up hitting the pipe. Connecting had a nice play to find Lawton in tight, almost went five hole. Then a scrum after it ensues. There was a lot of those tonight. First game of the year, you know. Getting into that, a couple guys, uh, really for both these teams playing their first game. Uh, Hart with a really nice save and tight. Tippett, uh, again, bad hit along the wall, and that's a two-minute boarding penalty. Uh, so uh, Devils would go to the power play. Not a great play from Tippett there. Um, again, just he was... I could I can't remember who the, the Devil was, but I believe it might have been Smith. But the way he was going back to the wall, it didn't look good, and Tippett kind of just shoved him, and he went straight in, and the stick went flying. I thought the Flyers did a really good job on the penalty kill. Um, just in general, you know, the, again, I've talked about this before, right? The the PK a, a alone has been really good. I mean, for for what it is, and um, you know, just in the in the preseason, uh, the penalty kill was really good, and I talked about that a good amount. Um, whether it was either here or on the podcast or or whatever, the penalty kill was really good. Again, they defended the middle the way that they played. Um, especially at the blue line. They were very aggressive. They were really getting their sticks there at the blue line. Uh, penalty kill tonight for the Flyers. Again, they did give up a goal, which was kind of one that you might want to save if you're Carter Hart, but overall the Flyers went one for three uh, on the uh, penalty kill. Flyers power play was also one for three. So, again, they give up a goal, Not you know, uh, but they ended up scoring a power play goal as well. So, again, not bad. I thought the goal was, uh, again, it was, a, it was an entry that New Jersey would score here. And they get into the zone, and it kind of opened up the Flyers' defense a little bit, and I thought that was what Hart probably would have wanted. Again, this is kind of what I talked about a little bit, that Hart not playing a game, a little bit of rust. Some of those goals you might have seen in the preseason, but you see a couple of them here probably because, because you know, Hart hasn't played since uh, later in the stages of last year because uh, the end of the year hurt a little bit. Flyers get it right back, though. That was the good thing about that was they gave up a tough goal. Uh, again, you, you told, you, that was already... Uh, apparently, uh, up until that point, it was already the second penalty in a row because um, the Flyers took another one after that. After the Devils with some pressure, that's where the goal came. And then um, the good thing was that they erased it. And Wade Allison would score. Beautiful play. Uh, net front presence. Pro rough shot. Uh, Blackwood ends up getting some of it, not all of it. Slam dunk for Wade Allison. 1-1 one, one there. Flyers get a power play. Fourth line ended up drawing one. You know, it was Hayes, Konecki, uh, Tippett. Van Riemsdyk and D'Angelo, and then after that, when Tippett was hurt, it was Farabee. Uh, again, I thought this power play wasn't terrible. I thought the first unit was better than the second. Um, the second unit was more of the younger guys, guys like Lawton, Frost, 
Cates. Zamula was on it for a little bit as well. Um, but again, they didn't really do much with that. They generated a few chances from the first, you know, like I said, but nothing crazy. Good shift by the fourth line. They had, I thought they had a lot of zone time. I thought that was one thing the, the really the Flyers I thought did well for most parts of this game, not all of it. Um, they had zone time. They got into the play. They were at least able to get the puck in and be able to cycle. That's what that's the one thing they really did well tonight was was cycle the puck low, get it deeper. Uh, I thought the defense did a good job of keeping pucks in. There wasn't really too many bad plays where they were pinching and the Devils would go the other way. There was maybe one or two, but nothing where the New Jersey finished. Um, D'Angelo and Bastion both get two minutes here for roughing. Hayes had a 2 one that missed late, and then Tippett ended up colliding hard with Paula in the slot, uh, and then Tippett would get, uh, that was where the injury came, so upper body injury, still being evaluated, we'll see what happens there, um, it, it's unfortunate, because again, that's already two wingers, two right wingers down, and then now one of our top four defensemen, so it's unfortunate, uh, end of the first period, shots were 11-8 to in favor of the Devils, again, thought it was a good period, thought the Flyers, Again, they got they got the goal right back, and they used the energy from the fans' third advantage. Um, definitely don't want to take three penalties. And I, again, second period, which was really bad last year for this team, was very good. I thought the Flyers uh, really from the beginning. That was a, you know first maybe two three minutes were pretty quiet for both teams. Flyers um, had a, a couple nice plays. Frost had a nice play to cut to the middle and ended up ripping one. Um, uh, it was right at, right at the uh, top of the slot, pretty much a little bit below uh, the the uh, Devils' blue line. And again, really nice play there. Uh, just the just the the swiftness of kind of getting around the defenseman. Um, Flyers will get a power play. Just didn't do anything with it. Really bad, sloppy. Not a, just a lot of puck watching. And the one thing I liked about that too was. It was a really bad power play, and then the next one they capitalized in the beginning of the third. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, Flyers had two plays up the rush. Uh, Hughes and Smith goes high. TK ends up firing right at Blackwood. It just, there, there was a couple plays like that where the Devils had a 2-1-1 one, one, one way, Flyers had one the other way, or, or vice versa, and that kind of reminded me like 3-3 three three overtime. You see that a lot. Um, Art had a nice save off the rush. Flyers were getting some more zone time. They had plays deeper in the zone. The one thing that the Flyers did was their defenses – or excuse me, their defense, just the way that they were getting the puck up the ice, and then the Flyers were getting in there and they were getting it, and they were cycling. It wasn't like they were getting in one-and-done chances. That was what New Jersey had. Two goals in 23 seconds here uh, after Frost just missed a breakaway pass in tight. Konechny scores. Beautiful pass by Hayes at the blue line. Just a great shot through the defenseman's legs. Blackwood doesn't see it. At least it didn't look like he saw it. Great play. It was just, a, again, great shot. And, and, and if there's two players you want to see score for the Flyers this year, it's Konechny and Frost. I mean, Everybody's been on Konechny, everybody's been on Frost, and bam, two goals in 23, 23 seconds by the both of them. Frost will get another one ready for that. Great play by Legzinski. Uh Again, a nice play by Van like too, just to recognize it. Legzinski turns around, finds him, bam, slam dunk. And that's the, the shot that, I, that I've been talking about and that Frost has, hasn't really been able to show, but you see it here. Great play, Flyers get two goals, and, and, and that pretty much was, I thought that was good for the game. Um... I thought the Devils, in the last handful of minutes, they had more looks at the net. The Flyers were defending it well. They didn't give them too much high quality. But again, it, it, you know, when you're in plays like that and you're in, you know, I guess later stages of the period where you pretty much dominate for most of it and then give some chances, it's not going to be, you know, 60 minutes all away one team. So that I thought they did a good job at least defending it. And Hart, after that first goal, I thought was really good. Um, he made good saves. His rebound control was pretty good. There wasn't really any shaky moments from, from Carter in this one. Um, I thought he had a good game. As for that power play, the Flyers, it was around, like, I believe 15 or 13 seconds or so when it was called. So the Flyers had pretty much a good amount of it going into uh, the third period there. I thought, again, good period. Again, really good second period for what last year was, right? Um, again, only one game. It's very small sample size, but it's definitely a good start. Uh, shots on goal were 25-16 in favor of the Devils. Again, it, and that looks like a lot, but a lot of them were from outside, either one-on-ones off the rush where Hart pretty much saw it all the way. It wasn't really anything crazy for the Devils. Power play carries over. Flyers get another one. Great setup. Um, just a, a lot more calm, a lot more poised, just you know, making the heads-up play instead of like rushing it. I thought the Devils did better on the penalty kill and not as much in this power play where they were more aggressive on the second one the Flyers had where they didn't do anything with it. And the Flyers took advantage of it. Konechny scores from the high bumper play. I talked about that a little bit in practice. They were working on it. Um, connect, just Konechny shooting in the bumper. I, I recorded a video about it. 
um, just him shooting. And, and I was curious if they would use it at all because it's not a bad idea. And, and they did, and, and you know, it ends up working here. So I would assume they, they use that moving forward. Um, I'm curious if, if Atkinson coming back and obviously Tippett, who would have been on the left side, if that changes any of it, especially with Cam, because he probably could play the first unit if they were to switch that, and it could be Kennedy in the bumper and then Atkinson. But we'll see what happens there. But I was I was pleased to see Kennedy score not just one but two and score from the bumper too because it, it was something I highlighted and also more of Flyers really haven't had a bumper presence in a while. So after that, Hart had a nice save off a really bad Kennedy turnover. Uh, I thought the game was settling down a little bit. 4-2, uh, Severson scores off a puck that hit connect me up high, Severson just ripped on, that was a great shot, I mean, you'd like for Hart to finish that, but I think, or at least to save that, excuse me, um, but that was definitely a, a really nice shot there by uh, Severson, I thought the Devils had a lot of pressure after that, they were kind of all over the Flyers, a little scrambling, a little uh, nervousness, I guess you could say, there was around nine, nine or eight minutes left, and it, 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 the Devils were pressing, but the Flyers, again, they they defended well. I mean, they didn't give the Devils much, and if, if you know, a Devil or two got around one flyer, Hart was there or either another defenseman. D'Angelo had a nice play to kind of break that up um, on Hughes when he pretty much got around a handful of flyers, had a little two-on-one in tight, and D'Angelo just dove and said no, <laughs> pretty much just said F you, and came in and just took the puck right away from him. It was a great play. Um, but overall, again, 5-2, the Flyers will get another one. Frost ended up trying to center it. In front in the empty netter, uh, when the, the uh, Devils pulled the goalie around four minutes left, because again they're down by two goals, and uh, Frost would score. They gave it to Legzinski for his first NHL goal, but it was not. It was went off of the Devils' defenseman when Frost tried to pass it. So two goals for Frost, two goals for Konechny. A Flyers win, a really solid win, if I'm being honest with you. Um, yeah, I thought there were a lot of good things tonight. As for the Lions, I really did enjoy the Hayes connecting Lawton line. I thought they had an energy. I thought they had jump. Um, again, I think that went for most guys. I didn't really think anybody had a really bad game, honestly. Um, I thought Brov Rob D'Angelo. I thought that pairing was good. Um, overall, again, solid, really solid. And uh, again, as for Travis Sanheim, who comes off the eight-year extension that the Flyers announced um, earlier in the day, around 6 o'clock, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit, so I'll, I'll mention it here. Um, again, I, I'm really pleased with that signing. Uh, I have no issue with extending Sanheim. I think that's perfect for this team. Um, I, I really don't have any complaints about it. I wasn't part of the, oh, well, they could you know trade him for, or he could be a trade chip or whatever, and then, oh, well, we have Cam York. Like That's not how they think. And I think it's good that they're that they're getting guys at long term under good deals. It, this really reminded me of the Joel Farabee contract when they kind of got him just right away, bam, extended, and that was kind of it. I was glad that they got it done. I t uh, me and my buddy Jim, we we, we kind of talked with Sanheim a little bit. He said he wasn't really worried about it, and you know Chuck had mentioned it, and Elliot Freeman had the tweet up earlier. So I, I was expecting it to get done, and I'm glad that they got it done now, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, cause he was their biggest free agent going into next season. So that's a good thing. It's a good thing. They got it done. I like Sanheim. I think if Sanheim can continue to have seasons like what he has, um, again, he's 26. I think there's a lot of promise there, um, in his game. And I, again, I, I have no issue with it. I think Sanheim's a good player and at that value, I think that can definitely go up, um, than what he was previously making. So let me know what you guys thought below on tonight's game. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, uh, Flyers are one and oh on the 2022-23 campaign. It's funny. A lot of the stuff in the summer that we all talked about, like, oh, are they going to score? Is the power play going to be good? What about the penalty kill? What about the goaltending? Like, all of it was good tonight. <laughs> and I know it's the first game, but it, it, it's just kind of funny how stuff plays out like that. When you score a power play goal, you score five goals. Uh, again, you win a game like that where you, you, you had most of the momentum th throughout it. Um, and again, I, I, just, I just again, it was a good game. It was a good game from the Flyers tonight. Let me know what your thoughts below again tomorrow. Uh, FFM 93 live at three o'clock. I'll be talking about this one and Jim Eichavine from High and Wide will be joining me. Uh, also, the Flyers fan club. We have the Joel Farabee uh, raffle tickets for the military signed jersey. If you wanted those, you can uh, message me there. And I have a little giveaway uh, that I'm going to be doing tomorrow on the show too. So stay tuned for that. Look out for the tweet for that, and I will talk to you all again soon thank you all so much road to 2k as well and uh yeah flyers win one uh first one of the year so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you all again soon